Hey friends, Isaac here. It's Tuesday, January 25th. Welcome to the Living the Dream Show with Kevin White. Kevin is a best-selling author, international speaker, and global brand publisher. He's the founder and executive director of Global Hope India and the CEO of Spirit Media. As a serial entrepreneur, Kevin has helped start hundreds of churches, businesses, and nonprofits throughout the world. Today, Kevin is joined by Temsala Bass of Nashville, North Carolina. Temsala is a sister in Christ, friend, and board member for Global Hope India. Put your hands together and let's welcome Kevin and Temsala to today's show. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Living the Dream show. It is January the 25th, 2022. Can you believe January's almost over? And I still want to say Happy New Year to you and my co-host, Timsala. How are you, my sister? Hi, good. Good. How are you? I'm doing well. I am so well, excited. New Year. Yeah. It's New Year all the way to the end of January. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we are so excited about today's episode. If you are watching on YouTube, you can see us waving at you. If you're listening wherever podcasts can be heard, we are so grateful to have you in the audience today. We are championing the dream of Revelation 7, 9 through 12, where every nation, tribe, and tongue are all standing before the throne of the Lord Jesus Christ in heaven focused on worshiping him. And that is how it is in heaven. And Jesus taught us to pray, let it be on earth as it is in heaven. And so we want to live this dream now, not wait till we get to heaven to be comfortable with it, but to be comfortable with it right now. Last week, we had a great discussion. If you did not hear it, I want you to go back and listen to it about demolishing the barriers and building the bridges to the international community. And we are during the month of January talking about starting 2022 strong and ending it even stronger. And so, yes, it's January the 25th, but we want to be thinking about December 31st, 2022, because there is an opportunity that God has given each and every one of us for 2022 to end stronger than it is even beginning. And I hope you can say already that your 2022 is that you have entered it in strong. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you're not fighting an illness or there's not depression or some fear that you're confronting. Our hearts go out to anyone that's in pain today. The reality is that we can trust God and have faith mm -hmm. even in the midst of that. David said in Psalm 23, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. And if there's anything that we've learned in 2020 and 2021 and now in 2022 with this ugly reality of COVID-19 is that God is an ever-present help in time of need. And mm -hmm. that's what gives us strength. It's not mm -hmm. that Timsala and I are smoking mushrooms or something and living as if we have no problems and no bills and no pain. There's not the absence of reality there's the presence of Almighty God. That's the difference. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. We don't deserve it, but He has given it to us through His grace and given it to you through His grace. And He is on a mission to bring the good news of Jesus to every nation, tribe, and tongue. So let's dive into today's episode. Themsala, what's God put on your heart? What are we looking at? We have been discussing a lot about, um, you know, how to not just start uh, stronger, but also how to end stronger mm -hmm. at the end of the year. And to do that, we have been talking about so many things about humility, about isms in our life and choosing to be a bridge builder. That was the end of the last episode and how we made a pledge to be bridge builder instead yeah. of be uh, people who build barrier mm -hmm. in our life and in the lives of other people. 
So in order to do that, you know, I have been thinking about what are the biblical ways that how spiritually can we become because we know that we cannot do this on our own we are all human beings we all have our own weaknesses and with our own strength how mm-hmm. can we do that and uh, as i was thinking about it the passage about the whole armor putting on the armor of god from ephesians mm. chapter 6 verse 10 and to 18 it talks about let me just read it so that we can hear it's not me it's the word of god that's what it says Mm -hmm. 10 ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 18 finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his mind put on the whole armor of god that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood Mm. but against principalities against power against the rulers of the darkness of this age against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly realm therefore take up the whole armor of god that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand stand therefore having girded your ways with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having having showed your feet with the preparedness of gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God, praying always with all prayers and supplications in the spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplications for all the saints. Mm. And that's, uh, you know, note for all of us as we come to the end of how can we have stronger how can we end the year stronger mm. is how we have to put on the armor of God. Mm-hmm. It doesn't mean that we are not trying to paint like a very depressing picture, but as you know, as Kevin, you have talked about how David mentioned about, even though I walked through the valley of the shadow of death, it's not saying that you will not walk through those things. Mm-hmm. You will. Mm-hmm. And why will you be able to come at the end of the valley? How you will end up is by putting on the armor of God mm. and how you will end stronger, mm-hmm. that you will not be afraid of anything that will come your way. And that's the thing that I want to encourage our listeners is do not be afraid. Mm. I'm not saying that we should be foolish, Mm -hmm. but be wise and discerning, Mm -hmm. but also not be afraid Mm -hmm. because we have put on the armor of God. Mm -hmm. And so no matter what comes our way, we will finish stronger Mm -hmm. if we are strongly founded in the Lord. And as we put on the armor, we can walk not with fear, but we can walk peacefully even in the midst of the chaos. We will have that peace. That's the promise that God has given to us. And as believers, you know, God has given so many promises for mm-hmm. all of us to claim. Yeah. The only issues is that for me, many times I look for promises in the wrong place. Mm not in the right place. Mm-hmm. The Word of God is where I need to look for. And the mm-hmm. Word of God, God says, He promises. And many times I fail to claim those promises from the Lord. And mm-hmm. I look at all the social media or whatnot in all the wrong places. Mm-hmm. That No, that is not where, where I need to look for my promises. Mm -hmm. My promises comes from the Lord because he is the maker of heaven and earth. He created me and I need to go to him, Mm -hmm. not to things around, not to make make things. And so that's, you know, let us put on the armor of God and claim all the, all these rich promises. Let us claim those promises one after the Mm -hmm. other and, 
at the end of 2022, we want to hear back from people how they ended the year. Mm -hmm. We want to have an episode where we can have all the different people saying, we, you know, we uh, claim all the promises and this is how I ended stronger than before. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Wow. Great word. I could just continue to listen. It is really getting real. Uh, two weeks ago, we talked about humility. Last week, we talked about barriers. What I really hear God speaking through you today is fear and just what to do about fear. And, you know, mm -hmm. humility can come, like it or not, through times of uncertainty and times of us mm -hmm. feeling fearful. That's a form yeah. of humility. And we can either choose to allow it to humble us or we can fight against it. And there is even a holy, righteous fear of God that we are to have. This isn't a fear of hiding from Him or a fear to be around Him, a fear of what He might say to us, a fear of mm -hmm. how He might treat us. It's not that. It's a reverent mm -hmm. fear. And then last week we talked about barriers and the need to demolish barriers. And now today it's as if on today's episode, God's saying, I really want you to address any spirit of fear because that is a form of a barrier. The reason you and I might not go and befriend the international person living around us could be because of fear. And one of the responses and results of COVID-19 could be fear. Uh, I've known mm -hmm. people that haven't been out of their home in over a year because of mm -hmm. fear. There is a, uh, a characteristic that people have adopted of fear, that their mm -hmm. lives are characterized today by fear. And, mm -hmm. and as long as that's true, not to judge or condemn anyone, but just to be real, as long as that's true, we're not going to go and be the hands and feet of Jesus to the foreign internationals living around us or really mm -hmm. anyone living around us. And so mm -hmm. what is God's response to this? Mm -hmm. The armor of God. And I just want to illustrate it. If you're watching on YouTube, I, I want to I want to just give you a practical illustration, and I'll try to describe it audibly for anyone that is just listening where podcasts are heard. I'm holding up my Bible, and I've got a, a note that's just got all kind of messy writing all over it. And the Bible represents Jesus and God, and this messy note represents Kevin, and. When we put on the armor, we are living in Christ. And so when I close my Bible, what you see is the Bible, which represents God and Jesus. You don't see the messy life of Kevin anymore. You don't see the pain. You don't see the fear that I used to live in because now I am alive in Christ. Paul talked about this all throughout the New Testament. That to be dead to sin and alive to God through Jesus Christ. And this is how our Heavenly mm -hmm. Father sees us, but it's not how we see each other. The way we see each other, and I'm taking the messy paper out of my Bible now and holding them up side by side, we see that Jesus, holy, righteous, good, uh, strong, is over here in my left hand, and me, weak, hurting, Needy is over here in my right hand. But yet God mm. through Christ has brought them together. And it's not just that, yeah. that Jesus is on top of us. Now I'm holding the Bible on top of my messy note. It's not that he's on top of us. It's not that we're beside him. It's not that we are on top of him and he's carrying us. Nothing necessarily wrong with that. But the, the proper placement is in. And that's armor. That's putting on mm -hmm. the whole armor of God to be in Christ. 
And so Mm -hmm. the whole point of armor is that there's a shield around us. And the whole point of that armor is protection, protection from the enemy, protection from people that might be scary to us, situations that might be scary to us. Uh, This whole Mm -hmm. mission of God is way beyond me, way beyond Timsala. We love Jesus, Mm -hmm. but the great Mm -hmm. commission is perplexing. It is impossible for man. It is it it can be it can be stressful even because we we have compassion now of Jesus for the billion lost souls in India that have never held a Bible. The the world the statistics say there's three mm-hmm. billion without access to know about Jesus. That's overwhelming. And so how do we deal with that mm-hmm. sense of tension? to be alive in Christ. I'm Mm -hmm. holding up my Bible with the messy note inside to put on the whole armor of God. Put on the whole armor of God. Live in that. And that's what motivates Mm -hmm. us to go across the road and build relationships Mm -hmm. with the international community because it's not just messy old hurting Kevin going over there. It is all powerful, all sufficient, provider, creator, King Jesus going over there. And I'm simply the hands and feet. I'm the messenger. Mm -hmm. I'm the the disciple. Themsela's mere human, just like me, just like you. Mm -hmm. And it's not about us. We're not the superheroes that save the day. Jesus is, but we are alive in him. That's putting on the whole armor of God. That's how we get rid of fear. We, it's not that it's not that Kevin and Timsala, apart from Jesus, aren't fearful. We we can still be fearful, even though we are followers of Christ. If we allow fear could dominate, fear could characterize our life. But we we put that fear in Jesus, who can conquer every fear. The Bible says perfect love casts out fear. So this is fear, my my messy note, I'm holding it up. And this is perfect love. And I'm holding up my Bible and I'm putting that fear inside of perfect love. Now, what do you see? Perfect love. The fear, the fear has been, has been triumphed over in love through Jesus. And that's why we walk across the road. That's why I ask the foreigner who, who sells my gas, what's your heritage? That's why I ask the doctor, uh, what's your good name? Or the person waiting on me at, at the restaurant, what is your name? What's your heritage? I befriend them on behalf of the gospel. And I, I get to know them. I get to know their family. And I share with them me and my family. And Eventually, at some point, it can even lead to spiritual conversations about God, about coming to church, about mm-hmm. what your form of worship is, is your religious tradition, and what's it like to be a follower of Jesus. How will they ever know unless we talk to them about mm-hmm. that? But it all begins yeah. with building Amen. a bridge and having a friendship. And mm-hmm. and so I I just hope mm-hmm. everyone will be putting on the whole armor of God, putting that fear, that pain, Mm. that messiness, Mm. that shame, what you name it, and putting it in Christ and taking on the mission of Christ, the good news then to the international community living living around us. Anything else before we close out Mm. today's episode? Yeah. To close up today's episode, I just want to read from two uh, two scripture passages. Okay. And the first one is Isaiah chapter 40, mm. verse 31. Good. And this is the promise that God gives us. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Mm. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Mm. And as you seek to end stronger, this is one of the messages, the promise that God has given. And the second one is from 2 Timothy chapter 4, okay. verses 7 and 8. I have fought the good fight. 
I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, and not to me only, but also to all who have loved his appearing. And that's the promise that mm. God has given to each one of us. Let us claim those promises and let us strive to end the race stronger mm -hmm. in 2022. Yeah. We love you all and yeah. God bless you. Yes, yes. Well said. Uh, take these verses from the Lord Jesus Christ and, and stand on them today. We'll see you back next week on the Live in the Dream Show. God bless you all. Research shows 3 billion people still have limited to no access to know about Jesus. Did you know that if 3 billion people formed a human chain, it would circle the earth at the equator 75 times? One of those billion people far from God calls India home. Global Hope India has been empowering Christian churches throughout India as they provide access for all people to know about Jesus. Learn more at globalhopeindia.org. That's globalhopeindia.org. Thank you for listening to the Living the Dream Show with Kevin White. Visit kevinwhite.us and join thousands of subscribers to Kevin's free daily one-minute motivation series called Generously Blessed. Generously Blessed. Kevin's books, Audacious Generosity and Get to the Point, are available in hardback, paperback, ebook, and audiobook at kevinwhite.us, worldwide on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and everywhere books are sold. Your five-star review on Amazon will be greatly appreciated. This has been Living the Dream with Kevin White. Find the complete archive of all episodes at kevinwhite.us or subscribe for free through your favourite podcast player. And never miss an episode. This program is copyright Kevin White International Incorporated. All rights reserved. Each week, we bring you a message of living the dream as people of every nation, tribe and tongue worship Jesus together on earth today as it already is in heaven. Remembering the gift of God's presence through Jesus Christ is accessible to everyone. Join us again next week for Living the Dream with Kevin White. Living the Dream with Kevin White.